video will do a short introduction and overview of Producer Surplus. Producer Surplus is the difference between the market price and seller's minimum asking price or marginal cost. The market price must exceed or equal the minimum asking price for the seller to sell the item. Producer surplus is a measure of profit that excludes fixed cost. So producer surplus is not exactly the same thing as profit. It doesn't incorporate or subtract out fixed costs of production. Producer welfare increases with increases in producer surplus. Seller's minimum asking price is given by the height of the supply curve. The vertical height of the supply curve at any given quantity represents the minimum asking price per unit. Producer surplus cannot be negative. So a simple example, the market price for a backpack is $60. A seller's and marginal cost of producing a backpack is $20. Selling the backpack gives producer surplus of $40. So this seller got $40 more than his or her minimum asking price from selling the backpack. Let's find producer surplus graphically. So here we have a supply curve. And producer surplus is just going to be the area between the market price and marginal cost curve or supply curve up to the last unit sold. In this example, we're going to let the market price equal $5. So we can assume that there's a demand curve intersecting the supply curve right here at $5. I'm not showing the demand curve to keep the graph a little bit cleaner. So then producer surplus in this example is going to be the area of this triangle. So that I'm outlining right here, just going to be di the difference between the market price and the supply curve all the way up to this last unit sold, which is five units. So this area, this triangle represents producer surplus. If the price, if the market price was $6, $7, $8, we would have a larger area for producer surplus. So producer surplus would expand here. If the market price went up, we'd get a bigger area, bigger triangle. Uh, let's now solve for producer surplus, get a numerical answer for it. So it's just going to be the area of this triangle. So an area of a triangle is going to be 1 half base times the height of the triangle. So we got the dimensions of this triangle here, 5 minus 1. Okay, we can call that the base of the triangle. And then 5 minus 0, we can call that the height of the triangle. So plugging that information into our formula, 1 half base times height, so 5 minus 1 is 4. 5 minus 0 is just 5. So we're going to get 4 times 5, which is 20. And then half of that is $10. So producer surplus in this example is $10. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.